much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Yes, this is our 70th year. It's fantastic. And so far, we have more stuff than I've seen in all the years I've been involved. It's We're trying to get out of the stuff right now. It's fantastic. We oh, my gosh. Ask for more. That's incredible. How long have you been involved in the clothing and more sales? I have been involved four years. This is my fourth year at the school. And as a new parent, it's one of the best activities you could get involved in because you get thrown right in and you meet people right away. And it's, so it's been fantastic to way to meet people. Now I'm running the, sh the sale, so I have to be careful about volunteering. <laughs> you have to be careful because you'll get in. roped into being but in charge. Great. It's one of the best ways to meet parents. And as your kids get older, I have two high schoolers. You know, you don't, you're not on the playground with the kids as much anymore. So it's nice to meet parents, you know, from different grades and different experiences, talk about colleges and all the things that are ahead that your high schoolers don't tell you. <laughs> All the secrets that you don't know about, maybe you don't want to know about. No, that's good. Uh, talking about colleges and whatnot. So let's talk a little bit about the sale. If you don't know, again, the 70th year for the famous Wheeler clothing and more sale, and we always have to make sure we get that more in there because there's so much more than the clothing. But let's talk a little bit about the event. It, like you said, it's huge. And like you said, there's more than you've ever seen. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, April 12th, 13th, and 14th. We'll, of course, put the days on there, and the times are a little bit different, so we'll link to the website at the Wheeler School and then um, the page as well. But talk to us a little bit about what people can expect to see when they walk in. I mean, you fill up the gym with just about everything. We do. It's kind of a pop-up savers, pop-up yard sale. We have a housewares department, which has linens, baby gear, frames, pictures, rugs, luggage, glassware. Um, I did bring this wonderful teapot. It's a nombre teapot, which is a Southwest brand. Um, you know, stainless steel, really nice custom teapot that someone donated from a specialty place in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Um, there's glassware, you know, if you love the old crystal that your grandmother had, or a tea set, or plates, Christmas decorations, you name it, that's housewares, and you can find a ton of things. Then there's a boutique section, which has high-end Armani, you know, designer stuff. We did bring a pair of Dior shoes, which are practically like brand new. new. Jeez. <laughs> yes, we have those, this Palazzi little purse. Um, this is a Gucci scarf that somebody donated. So and these are just a few of the things that we have um, in the boutique section. Then we have a books and toys department, which pretty much what it says, books, but <laughs> any w range of children's books to gardening books, cookbooks, self-help books, you name it, there's all the books. Um, and toys, puzzles, games, Legos, any kind of toy. Then there's the sporting goods department, which has ice skates, lacrosse sticks, pool toys, life jackets, bicycles is a big seller. Um, and we have a lot of nice bikes this year. You know, some people donate really nice bikes that their kids have just outgrown. Um, you know, there's Patriots shirts. And this year we actually have an autographed Jarvis Green Super awesome. Bowl champion Patriots jersey. So there's any that sort of stuff. And if your child is just starting lacrosse and you don't want to invest in all of the equipment, you oh. can buy a lacrosse stick and, you know, they can try it out. There's men's department, which has all the usual men's things. And there's the regular floor, which has kids' clothes, women's clothes. Oh, and of course, there's accessories. So there's purses, scarves, jewelry. You know, and there's some nice jewelry, and there's the costume jewelry, and there's something your little girl might like to wear, too. So you're not going to feel too bad about if someone wants a little something, you say, oh, sure, here's a little necklace you can have. And if they lose it on the playground, you won't be too upset. You won't be too upset. And that's what I think is so fascinating about this and so amazing is that people give and give and give and it's been done so well that it's gone on for 70 years which I think is so special and you can find treasures and like you said these these Dior shoes you see the bottom it looks like they've barely ever been worn um, looks like you brought some gadgets as well we have a sweater behind us it still has the tag on so you can find uh, you can find new products you can find just slightly used products like you said the bicycles and everything so this is a fantastic event uh, and what I think it also is cool about this event is not only can you find a bargain uh, and some things that you might not have ever have thought about, uh, but proceeds go to some special 
groups as well, not only the Wheeler School, but uh, benefit to other programs as well. Right, Breakthrough Providence is a program we've supported with our clothing sale. It is a program for underprivileged middle school children who want to succeed in high school. So there's a, during the year they come once a week and you know get some help with their homework so they can become better students and then there's a summer program I think it goes all summer long and we help contribute to that so it's a great helps our community helps the Providence community and you know it's a nice way to have people recycle their goods and make money for the school and for the community I so think that great. yeah I think that's incredible to be able to help um, support the community in any way. So we've talked about some of the fun stuff that you can find, some of the designer things that you can find, some great stuff you, some great stuff you, you mentioned, of course, yeah, if your kid's just getting into lacrosse, don't go out and spend so much money, you know, get something that maybe some other kid has tried their luck with, right. oh, which yeah. I think is cool. Um, it's always fun to hear what people donate <laughs> oh. because maybe not everything can be uh, reused or you know it cannot be upcycled can you talk about some unusual items that you've found at the sale or maybe special items well I do know one of I think the best is inside of an old coat pocket we did find a pair of dentures one time <laughs> so we certainly weren't going to resale those of course <laughs> um, you know you find sometimes we even were lucky enough to find money you know we have a lucky Ooh. penny or <laughs> even an extra 20 you forgot in your summer shorts that you passed on and that also goes you know right to the we'd make early sales before we've even opened our doors um, and I know last year someone bought from the housewares department a small silver teapot and you know they got it for five dollars ended up it was a very valuable oh. piece of silver so you know sometimes you find a gem Sometimes we also have a parent who works in that field and they evaluate oh, cool. things. So if we come across, you know, a very special item, kind of antique roadshow-ish, you know, we will sell that in a different venue so that it makes more money for the school if it was a special antique. Um, I know there was, we have some prints from some somewhat famous artists that, you know, you might, if you're an art history person, you know, American art history type things, we have that. Um, you know, it's I think that's I think that's so incredible, and it's always fun to to be able to hear what you come across, and then also what you can find because treasures can also definitely be found. Um, and what I think it's neat too is how you're able to fill up the space. Like you said, you're kind of swimming in stuff right now, but the goal is really to be able to to be done with everything. What happens at the end of this? You've been involved for uh, for four years, but you have this huge gymnasium. What happens at the end of three days? Well, we hope to sell as much as we can, <laughs> and obviously as the days go on, the prices get a little lower, <laughs> and there is some, you know, blowout clearances at the, you know, the last few hours. And then once all the paying customers have gone, we do have charities that come in, and they're allowed to fill up their bags and take whatever they want, and then Whatever's less left, we do have savers or epi epilepsy company come and pick up the whatever's left. So nothing is thrown out. It is all used. So that's, you know, it's great. We try and sell as much as we can, and hopefully we don't have much left at all. That's wonderful. And it seems like every year it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Are there, the, are there any goals for this year? Well, <laughs> you no. Know, I mean, we're just trying to sell as much as we can and each year you know as I've been involved you find a better way of doing it how to hang the pants I know we have scouted out savers and we found hanging the men's pants on their side oh. saves space and people can see the size tags a little better so that's one you know we're always looking to improve and we have parents who've worked in marketing or merchandising and they come up with better ways to put things out there or you know better ways to package we collect the stuff from September until December and we store it so we've now learned how to package our storage pods so that it is perfectly packed like a jigsaw puzzle and this year we found we had a ton of stuff you know more than we had last year that we were able to store it in there just right so it we were able to have more stuff that's incredible is there anything special happening this now that this is the 70th year are there any special celebrations or anything planned for the 70th year? Well, we hope to come up with some sort of marketing special, whether it be, 
you know, 70 items, you might be able to do something, or every 70 minutes, we might have a special on shirts or shoes, something along those. We're still brainstorming some ideas, but we have, we've tried to do some of the marketing kind of 70-ish to, you know, play on the 70s generation and the 70th anniversary. So, you know, it's great that, you know, we've been able to start it off with the Wheeler parents, there were uniforms at the time, and so it started with the Wheeler parents trying to have an exchange for uniforms because they were expensive and you wanted to, you know, pass your uniform on to someone else who might need it. So that's how it started all those years ago, and now it's turned into, you know. Everything. <laughs> everything that, you know, people can reuse or, you know, one man's treasure, one man's trash is another man's treasure, and so it's always something you don't have a use for. Someone else might be just hitting that phase of their life and be able to use it. Absolutely incredible. So if you're interested, uh, again, the dates for the famous Wheeler Clothing and More sale is happening Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, April 12th, 13th, and 14th. Um, all t hours kind of ranging, but starting either at 10 or noon and lasting until about 8 o'clock, the last day wrapping up at 3 o'clock. And we'll put details again on our website with links as well. So Caroline, thanks so much for joining us today. So much fun chatting with you. Thanks. Can't wait to do a little shopping. Oh yeah, please do. Thanks for having me. And everyone, come on down. It's a great You'll love it, and once you come, you'll want to come back every year. It's a great, a great sale. Definitely want to mark it down on the calendar. So thanks so much for joining us. We're wrapping up here in the Navigant Credit Union Broadcast Center on Go Local Live. For this hour, Josh Fenton kicks things off starting at 4 o'clock with All Things News and Business on Business Monday, sponsored by Deepwater Wind. I'm Molly O'Brien. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you online.